Mom, Dad, there's something I have to do. You're not gonna like it, but I really believe it's the right thing. Arch, she's gonna knock on our stash. We don't have a stash. No, of course not. They can't cut down that sequoia if one of us is living in it. Any volunteers? I'll do it! Oh, I'm me. so there! Oh, me, me, me! Whoa, hold on. Once you're up there, you can't come down. Not for a fish concert, not even for Burning Man. Oh. 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 No! <laughs> the rock group Fish surprised its fans this week with an announcement that they will be breaking up. No surprise is the immediate drop in sales of Birkenstocks, hacky sacks, and one hitters, and the rise of sale of soap. <laughs> Yeah, he remembered my favorite band was Fish. That's what you women think is thoughtful? <laughs> you know, I, I notice you aren't bearing any clothes for the church, and I know that you know Jennifer is away at a fishing concert. Uh, Fish broke up. It's widespread panic. Hey, dudes, this is your first time logging on. My name is Jarrett with a T. I've been a junior here for the past two years at Hampshire College, or as I like to call it, Hampshire College. It's clever. I live on the third floor at Lima Hall in a sweet three man, and I do this webcast every day, 24-7, 365. The only time you don't get to see me is when I come out of the shower, and the other day when I watched Stepmom and I started to cry. My first guest today is my good bud. I met him about four years ago when he was a sophomore, and he's still a sophomore. I think he's like 35 or something. Please welcome my homie and my roommate, Gobi. <laughs> Attention, Earthlings. Take me to your dealer. <laughs> hey, hey, what's up, bro, bro? <laughs> hey, Jared, man. Is it true that fish broke up? Dude, you've asked me that every day for the past month. Uh -huh. I told you that they're just not going to tour for a while. Oh. Uh, <coughs> hey, man, check out my new T-shirt. Gary, wake up. We're here. Man, how long have I been asleep? Uh, about 11 hours. You drove the whole way to Baltimore? Oh, thanks, man. My Grammy Newton's gonna be so psyched to see us. Yeah, you got that right. Only we blew off Grammy Newton. We're at the Fish concert in Vermont. What? Snooze, you lose. But it's her 102nd birthday, Mike. You'll hit it next year. You don't understand. I'm really close to Grammy. And now I break my promise to be there on her birthday so you can go to a Fish concert. But, Gare... Fish only plays 300 dates a year. You'll always have your Grammy Newton. She's 102! Exactly. We show up next week with a cupcake and a candle, she'll still think it's her birthday. Well, she does call me Larry. All right, fine, you win. Cool, man, let's go score some tickets. Now, nah, you go ahead. The least I can do is send her a postcard. Believe me, you won't be sorry. At a Fish concert, it's all about free love and people power. Two tickets for the giving it back to the people show, please. Mm -hmm. That'd be $600. What? More like sticking it up the people's yeah. up. If you're not gonna buy the tickets, step aside, okay? Oh, I'm not stepping aside. And I'm not paying these prices. Let's crash the gate. Who's with me? 500 shares of Intel, tell the broker. Hey, hey, ma'am, come with me, huh? I'll get you into the show for free. All right, now you're talking. Hey, are you guys sneaking in, too? Welcome to the Fish Re-Education Center, brought to you by BSF. We don't make the jail bars, we make the jail bars stronger. And by Motorola, Anheuser-Busch, Kraft. So we'll be there as soon as we can, Grammy. Love, get Larry. Hey! Do uh, those stamps guarantee a good trip? Well, they are first class. All right, I'll take one for 10 bucks. 10 bucks? All right, 20. Uh... Hey, this guy's got first class stamps, man. 
$800. Making money this easy's gotta be illegal. Hey, want some of my brownie? <laughs> nice try, sister, but I know all about the brownies. In answer to your questions about controlled substances, son, this should clear it all up. It's no secret that many of you enjoy delicious, healthy, non-addictive cigarettes. But some cigarettes are used to pass on the deadly illegal substance marijuana, also known as weed, grass, pot, reefer, Mary Jane, goof smoke, muggles, red-eyed Johnny, and Mr. Dizzy Stick. Worse, this evil drug can be found even in the most innocent of forms. Private Brownie. Hey there, Sarge. What have you been up to, Private? Oh, just visiting the boys in Nam. Uh-oh. Let's see how they're doing. Hey, Lieutenant! Brownies! Just like my mother used to make! Brownie work every time. Yeah, you gotta wake up pretty early in the a.m. to slip one past old Gary Newton. Hey, electric punch? Oh, thanks, I'm parched. Easy. You just dropped, like, four hits of acid, man. Pardon me? Grammy Newton's angry, Larry. Your alien hasn't been in it. Take my hand. I'm Cassandra. Gary, wake up. Gare Bear? Oh, my God. Oh, you're so beautiful. Cassandra? You're real? Mm-hmm. So last night actually happened? Mm-hmm. The dancing? The singing? The laughing? The sharing? The kissing? The wedding? Excuse me? Johnny Crouch on a roach! Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. I smell marijuana smoke. That better be medicinal. If fish don't see a prescription slip, we are out of here. We can wait all night, people. Here we go. Uh, head to toes, cut throughout the pipe. Whoa, this guy is seriously ill. My doctor never told me that. I had to hear it from fish. A one, a two, a you know what to do. <laughs> Thank you. And now, a man who's a real potheed. I'm sorry, pothead. Homer Simpson. Good afternoon. I want to thank you all for coming down here, taking time off from your jobs. Because we need to keep medical marijuana legal. Whether you suffer from glaucoma or you just rented the Matrix, Medical marijuana can make things fabulous, medically. So, my mellow fellow citizens, when you go into that voting booth on Tuesday the 7th... Uh, Homer? That, that was yesterday. Oh, man, they already voted! And we lost! 